investigation. An alleged gang of sheriff's deputies within the L.A. County Sheriff's Department known as the Executioners. Their alleged tattoo depicts a skeleton in flames, an AK-47, and a Nazi-style helmet. Miriam Hernandez has a closer look at the pressure mounting on the department to open their files on any groups like this. From inside the Compton Sheriff Station, a deputy's claim filed with the county about an aggressive band of whose cohorts allegedly in control. According to the claim, members are branded with a sinister logo. Which is a uh, skeleton wearing a Nazi helmet uh, with an AK-47 laughing. And go by a sinister name, the Executioners, which according to the claim does not allow African American or female members. Deputy Art Gonzalez alleges the deputy gang is trampling on the rights of citizens and targeting him as a whistleblower. Deputy Gonzalez, um, he's, he's afraid for, for his safety right now, as he should be. This is a violent gang, you know, violence, shootings, beatings. Why are y'all beating him? Claims of excessive force and much more. And the timing. As community outcry demands systemic change, allegations in the filing claim that as many as 40 percent of Compton deputies are inked executioners or prospects. Rumblings reaching the sheriff. Well, first of all, there is no gang of any deputies running any station right now. This matter has already been receiving very swift administrative action. We've already taken positive steps. Pressure for change is intensifying. Professor Sean Kennedy at Loyola Law School releasing a two-year study of deputy gangs, including the executioners. Often, the inking um, is attached to some kind of act of violence, including a shooting. It's the ultimate expression of your commitment to policing and your commitment to the deputy gang. The complainant, Deputy Art Gonzalez, is a former U.S. Marine decorated for his service in Iraq, Afghanistan. Here in Compton, once praised for speedy action to save a four-year-old boy shot in the head. The tipping point? Gonzalez says he witnessed a deputy executioner assaulting a fellow deputy. Gonzalez called a confidential tip line for internal affairs. To his shock, he says in his claim, the recording was intercepted. It's within 48 hours, a recording of his supposedly anonymous call was leaked to the gang at the station. He also reports that graffiti appeared at the station entrance. Art is a rat, and that was placed at the keypad to get into the parking lot. So that's the most visible place in the entire station. Compton, a flashpoint for high-profile crimes. Recently, the armored SUV of rapper YG in the middle of a shootout. And an 18-year-old security guard, Andres Guardado, chased by two Compton deputies shot five times in the back. Evidence of the secret deputy pack emerged in the wrongful death shooting case of Dante Taylor. Compton Deputy Samuel Aldama forced to reveal his tattoo, saying that about 20 deputies at the Compton station have the same ink. Skeletons, which is a symbol of death. There are flames on Aldama's tattoo, uh, which symbolizes he's emerging from hell. There is an AK-47. The Taylor family attorney put up huge billboards looking for potential victims. Aldama denied the group is a gang. The county settled for $7 million. This is all taxpayers money. So uh, yes, the taxpayers should be very worried. Criminal defense lawyers are going to be lining up, uh, making motions for new trials. The Gonzalez claim alleges the executioners brokered a deal to amp up arrest numbers. Members of the public were stopped for minor infractions. According to the Loyola study, sheriffs over the last five decades have been unable or unwilling to dismantle the deputy gangs and the money paid out to settle lawsuits when they are caught crossing the line. The uh, inspector general gave me a ballpark estimate based on just public information that it's at least $50 million. I think in reality, it's got to be much, much more. Villanueva says he is the first sheriff to impose a policy forbidding such groups. The inspector general says today there is no evidence that the sheriff has pursued any house cleaning. The county's watchdogs want the sheriff's records on all deputy gangs and the names of all members. The sheriff says due process laws protect deputies from such disclosure. As for Gonzalez now, he wants compensation for the years he had planned